my friends, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. After a long absence we had the last video, and now this one, in pretty quick succession. And, as promised last time, after doing just some normal, uh, requests from people. This time we're going to go to one of these barns and uh, see what that's all about. I wanted to you know, start a whole video with it because I have no idea what that entails, how much work needs to be done. I mean, if I'm finding a car in a barn, I'm guessing a lot of work. I haven't really had to, you know, do a lot of this full-on like repair work. This engine stand. I haven't had to do a lot of that yet. So I'm very curious to what that entails. I'm trying to see when, when else I give compression tester uh, engine stuff. That's important. It expands my garage. Another, uh, oh, two car lifts. That's cool. I'm trying to see when I get paint shop. Oh, I need to get level 30 before I get a paint shop. Um, I'm just yeah, I'm trying to see. What was this? Fuel pressure test. Okay. I'm just trying to see, you know, when I can uh, unlock more stuff. I believe it was level 13 or something before I unlock the junkyard. But we'll get to that later. Why don't we go to one of these barns? Should we go to top right barn? This other two barns. Let's go to the, this one closest to us. It's right near the junkyard, so you may be, you know, it's more in town, so the car might be in better condition because it's not in the middle of nowhere, but it's near the junkyard, so who knows? Alright, it costs $100 to go to the barn. I'm guessing we're going to see a real beat up vehicle, and then maybe we'll have to pay the owner to take it back home and then pay for a bunch of parts. Let's see, I have not gone to one of the barns yet. Ooh, I'm curious, I'm curious. Quite curious. Okay, so we're in a barn. I can just search the junk. I just take Toyota Celica right highlights on uh, daylights. Am I allowed to just take things? Am I going to have to pay for them? I don't know. There's just an engine stand sitting here. Okay. There's some more junk. Oh, Subaru Legacy. So these are clearly like... Shop stuff. Uh, they're so incredibly specific. 1970. Very, very specific. I don't know if I have to get a very specific car. I still don't know. Do I have to pay for this? Or what? But it looks like the real find here is this truck. We just collect all this junk. Junk, junk, junk. It's like a, uh, uh, what you might call it, a uh, like storage war scenario, right? Where I pay the hundred dollars, I just gotta get everything in the contents of the garage. I'm just trying to collect everything before. Why is this? Oh, well, there's three cars in here. It's a big garage. junk that's very specific. It's <laughs> just, just all over the place. I mean, at the very least, I can, I can sell it, right? Whoa, what is this, like a, is this a Subaru Fender thing? Buy car, overview mode. I don't 
so it has some things wrong with the engine, is, is what it's looking like. It doesn't seem to be in too bad a shape, right? In, engine cover, that's not the engine cover. But not bad, and I guess, again, okay, so we have like one of those. We have like one of these old, old trucks. Maybe I'm not able to like uh, so accurately know the condition of all the parts. I think that was an upgrade to better see the parts. Look at this little tiny car. Oh, this car is so cool. All right, I want to. Well, I absolutely want this car back here. I mean, it would. This thing's insane looking. How much is it? Okay, wait, what is this? This is, it's a Cadillac CTS V Sport Wagon Slam to wide body specific. Okay, so we know some parts are bad. There's a lot of parts, obviously. Well, car price, $59,000. Someone asking $59,000 for this. Well, geez, that's out of my price range. Okay, these these next two cars, right? They can't. Okay, this is a Subaru 360 Super G. Really old car. Some suspension stuff is bad. A lot of stuff that I, I just, I do not know. Some, some stuff is good. Oh, good, like the license plate. Awesome. <laughs> okay, this one is affordable. Just this truck. Uh, I can't afford the truck. Um, this is just what is this Smith 1500. This is just like a, a generic car that came part of the game. Can I keep all that junk though? I mean, okay. Well, I, I don't know why they have a fifty thousand dollar dollar car just rotting in here. Also, your lights on, guys. What are you doing? Your lights are just on. All right, well, this is very interesting. I had no idea what to expect. This is a huge garage, honestly. Oh, look at those god rays. Uh, RTX on, am I right? Hey, we don't wanna, let's, let's buy this little car. Let's buy it, let's do some tests. You know, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this little tiny Subaru. I wanna put it in my garage. We are gonna, up the Subaru. Everything else is too expensive. Oh no, I have to pay for all those parts. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I would have to pay for it. Okay. Try it. So, I don't want like bad parts under 50 anyways in my car. Anything that's specific to this uh, Subaru. I guess I could come in here if I'm looking for something very specific for a car. Uh, this would be a good place to find it. He's on GTR rear window. What is this part holder? They have insane Tesla Model S. Subaru Legacy. Now we got the Subaru. Uh, it's a Kai or whatever it is. I don't have any parts for this specifically. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna buy any of these parts. I don't need very specific. I guess. I wonder if what you're supposed to do is just, you know, keep collecting some of these cars, buying them, replacing them a little bit, and then, um, and, and then sort of just hold on to it and go to garages and find parts for it. I can't show a way to, like, clean rust off a car. Let's take it to the uh, the 
test path cannot start engine. Oh. Oh, well, that's not great. That's a battery. Okay. Uh, can I get down to the engine? Okay. Let's use some of these tools. Yes, OPD scanner. Oh, this, this car is, is, uh, Spark plugs, not great. I'm gonna have to change some of those spark plugs and ignition coils, I guess. Uh, let's use my other fancy tool, electronic multimeter. Yes. It's probably a reason why it's so cheap. Alternator's bad, battery's not great. Okay, well, looks like just a most things are going to be wrong with this car. Oh man, this is going to be expensive. I paid, what, $7,000 car status. Hey, car value. Hey, that's more than I paid for it. Let's move it over to the uh, car lifter. Just a little bit. This is, this is why that like mid-level one is installed, I guess. Of those, uh, I did. Oh, wait, yeah, these, these were bad, right? Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to change out some things. Okay, if I want to get that off, I got it. Okay, that's the alternator, right? I'm pretty sure. If I gotta get the alternator off, I gotta get the belt off. Okay, wait, I want to make sure I don't have anything. Let's look at my condition in my inventory. I got some bad brake pads. I'm just going to, yeah, sell my, my used, sell everything under 36%, sure. At least want to get it running first. So let's, like, is there a way just to, like, out the engine, engine stand, add engine, no items, how do I pull an engine out of the car, can I, can I just, just pick up an engine, <laughs> just take it out, I don't want to disassemble it, I just want to, okay, well that's fine, whatever, Let's, let's let's get this alternator out of here. Uh, okay, you gotta take off these or the belt. Okay, take off the little roller. Take off the belt. Now we can take off the alternator. Can we examine uh, some parts by taking off? I have to take it off the car. This stuff is in. I don't have a compression tester. Oh no. Fuel pressure tester. When do I unlock the, the compression tester? Level 9. Uh, can I. Can I like not. Just like what five thousand dollars of reset points? Okay, that's not worth it. Oh my goodness. Okay, compression tester. Guess I'll need that. I need level nine though. Oh, engine block and pistons. I feel like I really need to use the compression tester. thing all apart because there's going to be so much that's wrong with it. I need to take everything off the car. Test drive. Oh, the engine doesn't start though, so I can't take it out for a test drive. Um, take it off the car to 
test drive. Test pad. Okay. Well, uh, I'm, I'm going to need a compression tester. I, I don't want to just completely tear this thing to shreds. Oh, I want to be able to test it. Unless it's just like this whole entire engine is just broken. Just take off everything. I just do that. I just take off everything. so much in parts, I bet. Engine head cover. Will it, will it tell me? Well, look at its condition. Like, if I go to inventory now, engine head cover, 32%. I mean, it's not, not bad. Oh, this, this car is so much just full rebuild. Can I examine some of these things? This is probably where a compression test would have uh, helped out. I want to examine that roller thing. Okay, fine. I'll just keep disassembling. go. Oh, just blocking the camshaft. That's a whale. Man, probably fine. Okay. Whatever. We, we did it once. Took everything off the car. When we had a... When we just could not figure out what was going on. Sure, take that off. Leave. 
nothing left. Okay, looks like that thing's... Oh, I think it's connected underneath the car, isn't it? Just take that off. Can I just look at... examine anything else? Oh, so much, so much bad stuff. they make all the tools so that way you don't have to uh... oh now I can take off those camp gears I see brakes revo take engine let's just take it all off everything everything's gotta go we're lifting this baby up everything's gotta go Gotta go. We, we gotta just we gotta just take it all off and rebuild this engine from scratch. Apparently, because there's just so much wrong. Wait, engine, uh, engine block. Take out the gearbox. There's gotta be a way just to like take out just the engine, right? Oh my goodness, this looks bad. Oh my, yeah, all oh, bad condition. This is, this is greasy engine stuff. If I wanted to completely remove an engine from scratch, crankshaft, how do I take out the fuel tank, the oil pan, okay. Don't want the oil to spill on the floor. We gotta take off all these, okay. Shaft bearing things. Oh man, we're gonna. We're, this is gonna be insane. A complete engine rebuild. Was the part find worth it? Uh, was it worth it? Okay, so I gotta take out the pistons now. What's the fuel tank attached to? I don't know. How's this axle thing? Can I. Oh, it's fine. Can I unmount from down here? Great shaft, gonna take off. I thought I had to. Okay, I guess I gotta take out pistons from the top. Let's bring this baby back down. stopping this piston ring. Yeah. Focus on the piston with the con rod. What's stopping it? Uh, so
Oh, this car did it wrong. Engine's in the back. What were they thinking? Alright, no, no, no. Piston. Take out the pistons. Pistons. The whole engine block. Okay, now I think I got it. Nah, let's go the turbo. Why not? Take out everything. Fuel filter. It's gone. Okay, now I gotta take out and go back. Up top. Or, or down below, rather. And take out the cr crankshaft. And then I think I can take out the engine block. Which is just so much. We're just completely thrown out this engine. Boom. Whole engine. It's gone. if it's like not good enough to run. Okay, well we've done so much. Am I allowed to add engine no items to work with? Like how do, how do I? I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we have so many things on the red. I think if we keep it. like straight up broken parts is kind of like what I'm thinking. We can sort by, I don't know, name I guess. Arm A, I'm trying to see. Okay, I have, I have a camshaft. So I guess I don't need a camshaft. So everything in here, if, or if I just do all, I guess. So that everything that's red here. Uh, okay, added that to the wish list. Need a new brake servo. Camp gear A. I think I get new one of those. Camshaft. I have a camshaft, so we're good there. I don't have no fancy good cam, so I need some new camshaft cap. Fancy crankshaft. Uh, I need a crankshaft pulley. My engine hits fine. Uh, new fly rail. Fuel rail. Ignition coil. Ignition coil. Ignition coil. Oil pan. Piston rings. Sounds so much stuff. <laughs> Let's just buy it all, I guess. Let's bring up the shopping list. Okay, we need it. It should be in alphabetical order. We need an alternator. We need a brake servo. Is this under all?
this is gonna like tell me how much money I put into it. Fuel rail. My 4B, okay. Three ignition coils. so much stuff like worst so okay it doesn't like it doesn't tell me how much money I put into this I think I just dropped like two or three K like even like the suspension still isn't great there's this, this is just to get the engine running I just want to make sure that no nothing else is bad. Oh, we, so since we're here, we might as well take off the radiator. Radiator C, oh, 57%. It's just in the top left corner. Okay, that's just shock. Exhaust section A. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure that exhaust B is just anything that's touching the engine right now. That it's okay. fine it's good enough okay we're actually going now going to add all the stuff back in let's start with that front exhaust section we are just gonna put everything back everything back and we're gonna try not to miss anything because there is a lot of moving parts here <laughs> so many things that we took off that we're gonna have to try to put back together looks like most of it's uh, from the inside here. Okay, add parts. It's engine block. Sure. Fuel filter. Fine. Brake servo. Brands make a new one. Alternator. Brands make a new one. Was fine. Let's put that back in there. What is this? Oh, power steering pump. Old one was fine. We're just going to put everything back together. All these little rollers. All these little, little pumps. Is, is there a way to like, just clean the parts? There is in this game. There should be. Oh, this turbo thing is huge. Can I put in more? These roller things. Okay, I think I need to go put back in the crankshaft stuff from underneath the car. So let's raise it. Stuff. Oh, look 
how just shiny and new it looks. Clutch release. I guess like maybe I'm supposed to like find all this stuff at Barnes, but that is a lot of stuff to hopefully find. Starter, okay. And let's go back to the engine bay. This is what it looked like. I'll just go back to like part or uh, part like move mode. So, oh, I guess maybe it was just missing some things. And yeah, I needed to go into add mode. So I don't have an intake manifold. And I don't have a starter. same camshaft. I probably should just write them out evenly, maybe. I don't know. Well, if I was really doing this, I should have bought just all entirely brand new camshafts, but uh, I did. <laughs> okay. Engine head cover. Let's put that on. so much. So I'm, I'm missing an intake manifold, I4B, and a starter. Oh, let's add those. Intake manifold. Intake manifold. I4B. And a starter. Go back. 
this nice brand new one. I guess it wasn't on there before. Starter. I guess it doesn't have a throttle. Okay. Throttle V6B. Throttle V6B. Okay. Let's go back now. That AL got leveled up to level 8 at least. In the meantime. Must have been while I was... I don't know. It's been doing something over here. There's a... Agent Throttle. Throttle V6B. Oh, I'm like dangerously close to not having a lot of money. But I like money. Okay. Looks like this is going to need more parts to come off of it. Oh, maybe not. Am I missing anything? Do I still have anything in my inventory? Serpentine belt A. That's got to come from somewhere. Where, where was that? Oh, oh, yeah, all the ignition coils and stuff. I think... I think I need to put in some more things from the bottom. Yeah, we're absolutely not done here. Yeah, we got all these rod caps. Don't want to forget all those. That could be a disaster. missing anything now. Let's see. Do I have anything that's still uh, orange quality? Because that would mean that I didn't replace... Okay, the serpentine belt. Where did this come from? Oh, I think I, I had a serpentine belt in my inventory, like a good one. I replaced it with that. Okay. okay let's see if the car moves now. I put it on the test path. Oh, no oil in the engine. Okay, well that's a that's a much better sign uh, than it's saying the engine won't start. Oh, wait, I don't need to drain the oil. I just need to add new oil. Honestly, a great sign. Great sign. But oil in 
this thing. track. Sure. Let's bring it. Drive it around, see how it goes. I mean, the engine works pretty good. Whoa, it's like so quick. This is actually really quick. Whoa, this, my, this car is actually really quick. It's a success. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, too far. Too much. Whoa. I went absolutely flying. <laughs>
This car is insane. Oh. Okay, you know, let's just return to garage. This is this is too dangerous. This is So it's the fast, fast, I don't know if I'll be doing that. Oh, community cars, body shop. Oh, that's what I'm looking for, right? Whoa. Okay, this is what I'm looking for then. Subaru. There's so many Subaru. Front window. Okay, Fender, Subaru. 60 Subaru BRC. I forget what, what sort of car I'm doing. It's like a Subaru guy or something. Subaru RTX. Don't remember what car I'm working on. Subaru with the 0360 Super Guy. So, oh man, we got a lot of a lot of work to do on like the underside of this car. So I mean, we we just worked on the engine a little bit. Let's go to overview mode. Oof! Look at all those suspension problems. We're gonna have to take off like all the tires. The brakes are probably bad. episode. And I don't even know if we're going to break even. <laughs> After all this work, we're at, we're at $3,000. After all this, like, and if I sell it now, what is that restoration bonus? I spend so much money. Well, actually, I guess I can still sell. Here, let's do this. If I sell just uh, engine components so far. So if I sell everything under 35%, to I got $300, okay, so barely anything. $3,200, if I sell now at 10,000, I'm pretty sure this is a loss. I have to go back, check the, check the VODs, how much money did I have when I started this? I thought it was 4,000 and something. Or sorry, 14,000 and something. Um, so, so far I'm losing money. Maybe I gotta just get everything out of, out of the red first and that will help. I don't know. This was a lot of work to be losing money. Hopefully, in the uh, in the next video, we're we're gonna go and we're gonna continue working on this car. There's a lot of work to be done. We we basically just did the engine. Spent the whole episode completely tearing down the engine and building it back up. Um, I 
so much for watching my friends and I'll see you next time